how to apply to histopathology training in the UK. So applications usually open October, the year before the intake, and it is through Oriel. You can see the person specifications and essential criteria on the website. But today I want to focus on the training self-assessment scoring criteria. So the first criteria is additional undergraduate degrees and qualifications. These are the scoring systems. So if you have a degree before you started medicine, you get more points. The next criteria is postgraduate degrees and qualifications, and these are the criteria. So whether you have a PhD or an MD, you get four points as long as you have original research-based MD. So I myself had an MD, but I did not have a dissertation, nor was it research-based. So I still got three points as a master's level degree. Next one is presentations and posters. So this has a very high score. If you're able to present a poster or do a presentation related to histopathology, you automatically get eight points as long as you have evidence that you presented it at a national or international level. The next one is publications. If you are the first author or the joint first author of PubMed cited original research, whether or not it's related to histopathology, you get five points. But unfortunately, a lot of junior or just starting out trainees don't really have a lot of publications, but that's fine as well. Next is teaching experience. If you've organized a teaching program for at least three months or longer for healthcare professionals or medical students, and you have evidence for this, then you get 10 points. So for me, I have initially claimed that I have taught healthcare professionals and medical students for uh, approximately three months or longer or occasionally because we had mandatory teaching sessions and I have organized one or two sessions with medical students outside the hospital and I did have evidence for this but because it wasn't a formal program and I didn't have the evidence to show that it was a regular program I couldn't really claim points for this so just a reminder if you want to claim points for teaching you need to organize like a formal teaching session and it has to be three months or longer and don't forget the feedback it can be on Google Form or any platform for organizing feedbacks as long as you have it quite neatly packaged as a formal teaching session I don't think you would have any problems claiming points for this. Training and teaching, if you have a master's degree in medical education or teaching students or even just a PG cert, you can claim points for this. Quality improvement projects. This is one of the highest scoring ones, including teaching experience. So if you designed, implemented, and affected change for more than one PDSA cycle using the QI methodology and presented this at a meeting with evidence, you will be able to claim 10 points. So the important thing is not that you just do a QI project. You need to do at least two full cycles and you need to have presented this. It can be at the medical meeting with the consultants. As long as you have evidence for it, you will be able to claim 10 points. Leadership and management. This also has quite high points. If you've had a national leadership or managing role related to healthcare for at least six months and you can demonstrate that you've had a positive impact, you can claim eight points for this. So fortunately, I am part of a national organization called the Korean UK Medical Association and I have been the Northern England rep for more than a year and we have been doing healthcare projects, volunteer projects, and I was able to provide evidence for this. So I was able to claim a lot of points. But even if you're not able to do this, whether it's non-medical or if it's just regional leadership, you can claim points for this. I think if you're like the mess representative or the FY1 or FY2 representative, you may be able to claim points for this as well. Another higher scoring thing is commitment to histopathology as a specialty. If you notice, you'll see that whether you do a full four-month rotation on histopathology or you do more than two days of a taster week, you'd still be able to claim 10 points for commitment. I suggest though that you do a week of taster week because that would give you a lot of experience and exposure and you can talk about this during the interviews. Other histopathology related activities, if you've done 
done a research project, presented the poster, an audit, it's six points if you're not able to do a QI project. If you're attending courses, you can claim points for this. So if you go on the RC Path website, they do have events that you can attend. I myself have attended a couple of um, webinars and, and online conferences. A lot of them were free and you'll be able to claim points for this. And one more tip is while you're doing the taster week, if you can complete an audit, there are many quick ones. Just talk to the registrar or consultant and they may be able to help you out. A quick note is that for the histopathology related activities, you can only claim one and the one that's highest scoring among these things. So even if you did an audit and you've gone to courses, you'd be able to claim points for the audit more. So you can't pick two. If you guys have any questions regarding this, please comment down below and I will try to help as much as I can. Thank you for watching.